Welcome back everybody from Around the Bend. I'm your guy and we are here because we got a little special treat. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I was just, you know, we're on the hunt for Pokemon and everything else and my local card shop, shout out to Alpha Omega Hobby, um, they have this. A nice little surprise. Let me go ahead and hit that focus for you. Digimon card game starter deck Gaia Red with our boy Ty and yes that is Warwick Raymond in the back. I am boop, looking good. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm so excited about this. I love, love, love Digimon. Like I, I grew up watching this. Um, Saturday morning you find me watching Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, uh, Cyberbots. I'm definitely saying that wrong. But Anywho, no, this this is exciting, um, and I really, really can't wait to see what's in here. We we're like, I'm like, why not? Why not? Um, and so, without further ado, let's let's just get in. Let's just get into it. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited to see what we get on the inside. This is a pretty box. Um, I was lucky enough to get one of everything. Um, however. I went back because I realized it's just a starter deck, so you could definitely you could definitely get more cards to beef up your decks. Um, however, there weren't any, so I don't want to destroy this thing. You know, I, I still want to keep the box for keepsake, just in case this turns into another big craze and then you can't find it ever again. So we're gonna open up the box, nice and delicate. However, I like to say that the box in itself is is great. We get these four types of cards in the back to give you some clues as to what it is. This is a nice little lovely price um, that we were able to snag these for. Um, here's the side. And there's the other side. It kind of tells you what's in here. 16 types in total are ready to deck play. And so in, in my very, very limited stint of just what Digimon cards are, um, the starter decks are great to play with. Um, however, with the red deck, there are there are different colors. There are six types of different colors. And if I'm wrong about anything, please, please, please um, let me know. Uh, please let me know because I am very, very, very new to this. Um, however, uh, from what I did gather, there are six types of decks. Um, and so you have your red deck, you have your yellow deck, you have your blue deck. Uh, red deck is more so, oh, that's three. The other, the other three are green, black, and purple, um, which is really cool. Um, and so the how this all works um, is that, you know, each deck has its own kind of archetypes. Um, and the red deck specifically is more like an aggressive, make your, make your statement, be in their face kind of deck, which is really, really cool. Um, as you can see, you already see some foil things. Um, but we get the instructions um, in the back of like uh, how to play the game and everything else like that. At first when I was watching this, it was a little confusing, but I think that I got it. I think I got a swing of it. Um, so if you guys are interested in playing or you guys do play the game or collect the cards, please let me know. Uh, comment below what is your favorite card. Um, so we have the instructions here on the bottom. This kind of tells you how your play mat should be set up um, so that way you can understand the, the feel of the game. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, I've like watched a couple of tutorials on instructions, but the best way of knowing how to play is just to either watch or match or just getting yourself right into it. So it, it is really cool. Um, these are the memories, um, which are really, really important because that is how you're able to play cards. This is where your resources are at. So this is an integral, integral part of the game is called your memory gauge. Look at that, memory gauge. I'm even getting the terminology down. All right, so with the starter decks, you typically get, um, with cards, um, you are only allowed to have four of any type of, po uh, I was about to say Pokemon, any type of Digimon card. However, they don't look at the name, they look at the, the number. The number is what's different because there are these two different types of effects that each cards may have. And so this right here um, is an inheritance, inherited effect, and there's some that are like on play effects. And so those will be treated as two different cards, which is really, really cool. Um, so first card is our Digi Egg Coromon, which I believe Digivolves into Agumon. Coromon was my favorite, also all the way, by the way, which is why we're starting with the red deck is because Agumon was 100% my favorite. Ty, the Crest of Courage, you gotta love it. And just like just like before, we have four of these Coromons. These are your Digi Eggs. This is what you use to um, really kind of like maneuver and like start your game uh, for resources and everything else like that. So this is kind of nice to have. Beomon, uh, she was a beauty, um, loved her. 
Um, and we keep going. So this artwork is actually really, really nice. I, I love how the cards really feel. Um, and just like before, we have four of these guys, and that's really nice. Nice little three. This is your damage points up here of the card. Your play to cost, when it comes to that memory gauge I was talking about earlier, is two. However, if you digivolve it from a level two mon, which is right here, nice, you, you get to play this card for free. So that's also really fun. Um, so that's a level three mon. There's our boy in action, um, Agumon. Here he is. Uh, he costs three, zero, two. Agumon's beautiful. Look at that pepper breath uh, that's going on there. Oh man, I haven't I haven't watched a good Digimon show in so long. And these cards definitely feel cool, and the fact that they have a card game is awesome. So we have four of those bad babies. Dracomon. This this man this man. Nice little baby dragon. I don't I don't really remember seeing him that often. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that may be the old guy in me. Um, but he is a beautiful card to look at. Looking at him staring at the nighttime sky. Um, his little outlines right here. There's like a source of light coming this way. A little glow effect around him, which is like pretty cool. I, li I like to see that. And then we have Bergermon, who does digivolve from Biomon. Um, and so here is her previous uh, digivolution um, in like the regular show which is really cool um, to see her in this deck as well too. Um, and so she is a whopping four to play, but just only two to Digivolve from a level three, which is pretty nice. Um, pretty pretty cool card, 5,000 DP. No other effects, but you get uh, that base power. Um, here are some interesting things about these Digimon cards too that like really plays a cool effect. They not only do have the inherited effects, like so things that like occur in the game, but they also get these like cool different stats. like Blocker, Jammer um, is another one. Um, and there's, there, I'm sure there's more. I'm like really, really starting to learn this game and I like, I really can't wait to continue to play it. But like when a Digimon an opponent Digimon attacks, you may suspend this Digimon to force the opponent to attack it instead. So instead of them being able to attack you directly, um, they attack this guy instead, which is like really, really nice to have, especially if you're running low on, on security, which is like you get five of them, um, which allows you to uh, stay in the game. And so this is a good way to deflect, good way to block <laughs> um, your opponent from winning. And so there's that. Um, Greymon, and so like we were talking about before, um, the inherited effect. So he is a nice card to have because this Digimon checks one additional security card. So you have five of these life points, if you were to say, but they're called securities um, to your digital mainframe. Nice little lore. I don't even know if that's really the case, but that's how I like to think about it in my head. Um, but he gets to attack two of them at one time. Usually you only get to attack one, but you get to have two. So the cool part is when you digivolve into like a higher level, you get these inherited attacks. So the person, so if I digivolve again, then my new Digimon gets this effect as well, which is like awesome. I'm like, that's such a cool way to integrate it. And so this is where I'm talking about how the, um, the, uh, what should I face it? The structure deck, right? And I said I only have one of each. This is where I wish I had two because we can have up to four of the same card, but the structure deck only gives you two. So I would definitely, definitely love to get Greymon, uh, two more of those guys. Garjamon, when digivolving, one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 attack points um, or damage points. Uh, attack points is just for people who are like used to hearing that, but damage points is what they call it in this game. So that's a really nice little attacking away. Boom, and Metal Greymon, 7,000. And this is where we start to see a little difference in the cards. Um, I'm not sure what kind of card this is. Um, however, as you can see, um, this is a level five. He's a level five, but like, look at, there's like some gloss here, which is really cool. And you can see it around here as well on the outline, um, which is cool. Uh, so I, I guess maybe this is like their version of a reverse hollow, maybe? Um, but this is really, really nice. and. You see more war, like Metal Grey Mons in the back attacking, like they're doing like their missile barrage or something. I don't know what those are called again. I'm sure I'll learn it in this deck, but that they're doing that attack. There's like another one back there as well. Feel bad for this poor area. Three of these guys attacking you seems scary enough. And for these guys, we do get four, which is awesome to see. 
Phoenix Mon, wow, hello, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it, like, in the, like, Digimon world, but, like, look at how the number just kind of, like, pops out. The art is coming out the card. I don't even know who Phoenix Mon is, but this, he costs 10 to play, so this is definitely an expensive card, but he is 12,000 right now, and if you can Digivolve him, he's only two to play, so, like, that's crazy for, like, that is a strong, strong card. Like I said before, Ooh, the little sleek peek. Like I said before, um, the red deck is really a statement deck, really aggressive deck. And here is the man of the hour. Oh my gosh, this is such an amazing card. Okay, so this is this is the type of look that we want to go for. As I'm twirling it around, you can see the hollow rainbow effect. You see how the slashes, the fires coming out. I, Dig, Digimon's art is is beautiful, beautiful. Like look, I'm. <laughs> this is awesome, and this comes in the starter deck, which is really cool. So you like you really get a chance to get this. Um, and this guy is twelve thousand, but he also gets um, an effect uh, for every two Digivolution cards that Digimon has against Security Attack plus one. So you get to attack and just annihilate. Um, as I said before, when you like. Digivolve, oh, I didn't say this before, but when you Digivolve, you you create a stack, so you kind of like build up. Um, and so if you literally go from level two all the way to level six, and he has all those monsters, um, or Digimons, he, he's able to do more damage and attack more. So that's really, really cool. And we get two of these bad boys, which is sick. Uh, tamers, these are these are your like tamer cards, your your option card. No, they're just tamer cards. I don't know. Um, I, I don't really know how to describe these, but these guys are really really key. Um, you guys, you, they they help you um with things. And so like for example, all of your Digimon get plus a thousand. So like if this is an effect, um, he goes from twelve thousand to thirteen thousand, which is really really strong. That's awesome. And we get one, two three, four. So now imagine we get four of those guys out there plus that or Greymon, unless there's like an effect card or something that can take us out. Like we're definitely in for a win there. Uh, one of your Digimon gets plus 3,000 for the turn. Shout out to Shadowwing, Gargermon's attack. That's beautiful. Oh, and then if this is a security card, um, like I said before, like your opponents attack your security, it flips and says all of your Digimon gains a security attack plus one. So like I said, card is all about the offense here, which is really, really nice to see. Um, this is Starlight Explosion. Looks like Phoenix Mon's attack. Um, all of your security Digimon gets 7,000 DP until the end of your opponent's next turn. So if they're trying to attack your life points, they, they are in for a world of hurt. So that's really, really nice to see here. We get four of those. Um, Giga Destroyer, there is your War Greymon um, attack. So Giga Destroyer is what they called it. Um, delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. So that is awesome. Free free removal for like weaker Mons. So that's really, really cool to see. Um, get those Mons off of the board, the playing field. So that way you don't have to really worry about them either blocking you or attacking you. So that's nice. So we're gonna get two of those. And that kind of makes sense that so those are really strong cards, but this is a strong card as well, which I believe we only get two as well. Um, but this is nice because you get to delete one of your opponent's Digimon. I mean, like, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Just look at him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, favorite, favorite Digimon from the beginning. Didn't even know that, you know, he gets all these power-ups and everything else like that. Love him, love him in this still, love him in this action right there. Um, and just one more time, just to show off, here is the War Greymon, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. And if you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Do all the wonderful things. Leave a comment below. What was your favorite card? I have to tell you guys once again, even as we're in this frame, where is it? Where is it? This by far was the best, my favorite card in the set, that whole thing. I, I, I love, I love War Greymon. I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. But thank you guys so much. I know we ventured out into something new, but thank you guys so much for making it this far um, and watching out the whole thing. Love the support that I've been getting. Um, I hope you guys like the Digimon um, cards as well too. Um, leave your likes below and then we'll hopefully catch you guys next time for another opening. So until then y'all, 
Peace.